Did someone order the extra cheese? I do like cheese though. Can we get this video to 15 likes? Let's try it. If you haven't, ring the bell to be notified of when I'm uploading videos. Let me say that this is stuffed with cheese and cringe to the brim in all the best ways. Mostly. There's a couple moments of messaging that are just feel very apt with the times that made me roll my eyes. And look, the dialogue is a special kind of rough, even for Power Rangers. The acting by most leaves a lot to be desired, even if the earnestness is commendable and there. Even how it look feels cheap, placidy, and fan film-esque. Too clean. But they do some cool camera work. But gosh, if there just isn't something about Power Rangers that will always keep me coming back. The awesome music, cool suits, fun fights, kaiju battles, and the heart behind it all. Except that last Megazord fight was awful CGI, looked like a really PS3 cutscene. This should have just used the people in suits. I admit I was hoping for a bit more from the fight choreography, but it was still decent and fun. The cameos were mostly great with what they could get, especially loved how they used the original Mighty Morphin characters, despite not all of the actors being there. The only one who really seemed disinterested in phoning it in was Johnny Young Bosch, and that's sad because he's one of the best. And maybe it's because of how he was directed or the script, but he looked bored. But he didn't have to be, he didn't have to accept it, so it could be the writing. I don't know. Speaking of, I was pleasantly surprised with the thematic weight of the story. Sure, we've seen it all before, and I mentioned the cringing dialogue, but how it deals with loss, revenge, grief, and heroism is unexpected but pretty good especially in how it honors Trini and the actress who played her who sadly passed away, uh, Thuy Train. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I say that wrong. It was a long overdue honoring, but it was so welcome. Overall, it's not great, but for Power Rangers, it's serviceable and more memorable than it had any right to be. It should have been a full-length feature, though. It needed an additional 15 to 20 minutes to better flesh out characters, plot, and possibly more cameos to make this feel more grand than it is. I do love all the nods to other series and especially seeing the fallout from Power Rangers in space be referenced so heavily. It gives a sense of grand scale, continuity, and deep lore to pull from, which just enhances the universe overall. It also does tease a future with more, and I sincerely hope they do a follow-up. I think, honestly, since they honored Katrina here, they should honor Tommy Oliver. Maybe do a Forever Green special about the legacy of Tommy, and all the Green Rangers he inspired as the original, or all the Rangers he inspired in general because he was so many himself. All the teams that he was on and get everyone back, he deserves it. That final tribute to both actors got me all kinds of choked up. Very, very moving stuff. I will say, given the poor elements and that it's the former actors who are great to see return, especially Zack, who is the target audience for this? It's a bit odd to say it's so mature for Power Rangers, but the tone seems aimed at young kids, again, but then there's lots of talk of death and more deep themes. But yet people my age are probably the highest amount of viewers because we're the ones who grew up with it. So it's hard to tell. Always great to see the Rangers back. Even if some of the elements can make portions hard to get through as an, an adult, I simply love it. Cringe, heart, and all. And cheese. Good old cheese. I give Power Rangers once and always three out of five stars. Like, subscribe, and remember, always look for the good.